Hi everyone, this is my ultrasonic bat detector. Uh, I used four chips, you don't need that many. Uh, I just, uh, I tried to make mine a little bit more efficient than it probably should have. Uh, I have a lot of filters in there to filter out noise. I'm transmitting uh, at 40,000 hertz, 40 kilohertz through my really easy to configure transmitter circuit. There's my ultrasonic transducer transmitter and there's my ultrasonic transducer receiver. And there is my big bulky 2 watt 8 ohm speaker. So anyway, I've got the reset pin uh, grounded on my transmitter right now. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, remove, I'll just uh, remove the ground on the reset so I'll actually be transmitting. So, when the receiver picks up the ultrasonic uh, sounds from, a, say, a bat, uh, we can't actually turn that into an audio signal. So what we have to do is we have to divide it down using either a counter IC or a dual flip-flop IC. I've actually divided it down using a dual flip-flop uh, IC, the 74LS109N, I do believe. And I've used both flip-flops, so I've divided 40... Uh, uh, 40k down by two, so we're hearing about the uh, 10,000 hertz or 10,000 hertz range. So it's not a very pleasant sound. You can hook it up to uh, to ear speakers if you want, or to little uh, to your little earphones. Uh, you can configure the range to be a little bit different. I've only got this one up to a few meters because uh, I'm only really using two amp two preamplifiers, uh, comparator, and a flip flop, and a few filters to filter out noise because. Uh, you the ultrasonic transducers can pick up on a wide on a wide range of frequencies. So I've chose to use uh, two uh, low pass filters uh, configured with a minus three dB point of uh, forty kilohertz because uh, I was finding there was some noise. Anyway, so again, I can if I used a button, I could have hooked it up to a button, but. It's uh, it's interesting. You can, I can go back, and as the signal goes back and it's attenuated, you can hear the uh, output of the speaker changes. So it's pretty neat. It sounds awful, but at least you can pick up when it bats around. So now I'll ground the signal again. Oh, not picking it up anymore. So I'm using for my uh, receiver, I'm using a power supply right now, but you really only need a good strong uh, energizer 9 volt battery. Transmitter can, I accidentally left my transmitter on all night and it didn't drain the battery. So transmitter circuit takes up next to nothing to power. The, uh, the uh, receiver circuit can be configured enough to use next to no power as well until the uh, speaker output is, uh, is activated. Because, of course, then it's going to take up quite a bit of current. But we're not going to be listening to bats all night long, so we can survive on a 9-volt battery. Anyway, these ultrasonic transducers can be found on my eBay store, uh, which can be found through www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, yeah, just, uh, thanks for watching, guys.